I told you we spent $7,000 on extractors. Would that be crazy? I guess it would, but there's a pretty strong reasoning on why we do that. So in this video, I'll break down why we chose to purchase three extractors, why we're willing to spend $7,000 on extractors and how, and how it helps us with our operations and growing our business. Now remember, we've been doing this for a while. We have customers, we have revenue, so don't get caught up in like the, well, Oscar said it, so I should do it. This is what we do and I'm just sharing the information with you guys so, and hopefully it helps you in whatever way. So let's get started with the video. So why does it make sense to spend $7,000 on extractors? Now to break down that cost, we have two HP 60 spiders and then we have a Prospector 500 in the van. Now the one of the uh, the mighty HP 60 spiders that we got, we bought it brand new for $1,700. And then another one we bought used for $1,100, right? So, we, so one was already used. Um, and on the Prospector 500, I believe it's $2,300, but we, I think we got on a deal and I think it was like $1,900 in total and on top of that we also have a hose reel and a 30 foot hose in the van and we have two sapphire tools and we will eventually get another sapphire tool for the other HP 60 spider now in total between the sapphire tools the three extractors the hose reel in total it's around let's say $7,000 right it's not exact math but it's probably somewhere around there so why would we spend $7,000 on equipment couldn't you just use the Bizzle Pro Heat couldn't we use the aqua pro that couldn't we use this little spotter the, the versa clean as you've been if you followed me for a while you would know that i'm gonna say it's it's dependent on volume and your goals right if you're doing just one car you can get away with you know one car a day let's say you can get away with the Bizzle pro heat the aqua pro vac right now could you do two cars in one day <sighs> probably not right interiors wise how about three how about four right so it's there's there's kind of multiple layers to why we would, we would spend that much right so for like and these are in no particular order i'm gonna just kind of go off the head uh, go off the top if you will for one for us right like personally for me but it's like not having enough resources for yourself right like always having to share something or or or, or having to, to to like wait for someone else to finish something or, or to not have everything that you want like right then and there right we got three extractors right because one we're, we're heavily focused on interiors right so for us once we got the van we needed a van uh, extractor to just strictly stay in the van and when we got the shop it's like well I, we're not going to keep on bringing that extractor down so we need another extractor here at the shop now could have we gotten away and say okay well you know we're going to have interiors in the field so let's put the extractor in the van and we don't have uh, interiors the next day so let, let's take the, uh, the extractor down and let's keep it here at the shop could we have done that? Yes, but the hassle, the inconvenience, the frustration to always have to pedal around between the shop and the van and we gotta take it down and do we or do we not have interior work? I I'm not gonna do that. It's just the hassle, the inconvenience. I'm not gonna do that, right? So a lot of things, it's like, what is is the cost worth the value that you're, that you're gonna receive from? And it's not that I'm like, oh, I'm too lazy. It's like, I already did that for seven years when I was in the HHR, bringing everything down, having to move things around. So now that we we have money and we can spend money and and we're seeing growth, it's like, dude, I don't, I don't wanna put up the fight every single day of saying, hey, bring that extractor down. Hey, bring the real down. No, I'd rather just have, boom, guns are blazing, an extractor on each one that way, because now it turns out when the van goes out and there's two three interiors for the day it has a setup when we have interiors over here we have a full setup so now at whichever part is moving right whether the shop the van's going out or whether we have cars here at the shop they both work independently of each other meaning the van doesn't have to be here in order to get any work done at the shop the sh and the shop can run perfectly fine or without the van if that or did i just say the same thing twice anyways you get the point to whereas the shop is a shop in itself if the van's out the whole day, that's fine. We can still do everything here at the shop with no problem whatsoever. Anything exterior has to happen with the with the, uh, with, with the van, whether a wash and wax, a one-step polish. We don't do corrections out in the field because that's why we have a shop. But let's say like a one-step polish, like something quick, the van can run independently because there's enough polishers to put in the van and enough polishers and pads to keep here at the shop. So it's a, 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 a of an efficient uh, factor of like, what do we have to do to not think about how we're supposed to work, right? And I, and I can take this back to my uh, laptop setup at the apartment apartment and my laptop set up here at the shop i have a monitor two sets of keyboards two sets of mouse and if like i like basically at the apartment i have a full setup monitor stand mics headphones 
uh, laptop mouse here at the shop, I have the exact same setup. Why? Because it, it removes the friction from thinking, okay, if I'm going from the apartment to work, to the shop to the work, I have to get the monitor, I have to get the keyboard, I have to get the mouse. No, instead, from going from the apartment to the shop, the only thing I have to worry about is, let me bring my laptop. That removes a lot of friction from having to work, from, from like getting, from being able to work. So it's the same concept with getting the extractors. It's like, what do we, what, what removes the friction for us to say, okay, schedule it, go. If we're floating one extractor across two things, it's just a level of, of frustration. Like we just don't want that, right? So that's why we spent, we're, we're willing to spend that much money because it's like, what is, what do we have to do to remove friction, to remove hassle from our operations? Yeah, it costs money. Of, of course it costs money, right? It's going to cost money. But for us, we see the, not now we see the potential, but it justifies removing that friction and the hassle. And when we have cars in the field and have, car, have cars here at the shop, it makes total sense to have two extractors. Now, the next thing is, and this is the same thing of both, uh, basically everything that we have here at the shop is that we run a two, three, four man crew, right? So sometimes there's two people here on the vehicle. Sometimes there's four people here in the vehicle. Everyone should be able to work independently, independently of each other. Meaning person A should not wait on person B to get done with the drill or the extractor or the steamer so person A can use it. Same thing with the extractor, like, and not, not here at this shop, but eventually we want to have a vacuum compressor extractor on each side of the vehicle. That way the people over here have their entire setup and the two and the workers over here have their setup. And actually we, as of right now, we do have that setup. We have two vacuums, one on each side. We have two air compressors or two hoses, one on each side. Each hose has a, a cleaning gun. Each side has an APC, their own set of brushes, their own set of towels. So the next thing that we're missing, not here because it's drawing too much power and we'd probably trip the, the circuit too much and we can't run other um, machines when we're doing this, but eventually I would like to have two extractors on each side. That way, like, again, it goes back to the same uh, of the first point that I'm making of like, I want to remove the friction. I don't want to be like, okay, let, let me bring it over to this side and let me pull the hose and pull the extension cords. Like I, I, I've gone through that too many times now, right? Like I, I've gone through like the, okay, well, let's be resourceful and, and let's move this around and um, it, it's it's so annoying and so frustrating, but let's bring it over here and, and set it up over here. And do, it's like, I've gone through that too many times. It's, it's very frustrating. So yes, we're spending more money on having two cleaning guns, on two hose lines, on two vacuums, on two compre on two extractors, on two, on, on sets of two for everything. For me, it's like, it gives me the peace of mind of like, okay, when that person's working, they're working. And when I'm working, I'm working. And he can do whatever he needs to do. And I can do whatever I need to do because we have everything that we need separately right so that's that's the purpose behind the extractors as well again eventually we'd want to run two separate setups and, and, it, and it goes back to like the more volume you have well the more tools that you need that's why i say like if, if you really want to grow your business it's gonna take money like you don't just make a lot more money without your expenses rising with it as well right so that's why we're able to spend seven thousand well, that's why that's why we do spend seven thousand dollars on tools and products or, or on extractors i should say because of that those two things to remove friction and to be able to do more vehicles that's really the gist of it I wanted to give you a more thorough breakdown. So let me know in the comment section down below if you're interested in any questions about that setup. Um, I'll link them down below uh, so you can check out the links to the HP60 Spider, the Sapphire Upholstery Tool. I'll link down the Prospector 500. I, I don't recommend the Prospector 500 unless you have the van or the shop setup because that thing is massive. Fit like in a Transit Connect or in like a smaller size vehicle. It, that thing is ginormous. These two versus that one, that Prospector 500 still runs circles every day, night and day with no worries against these two uh, HP60 spiders anyway i'll end it right here leave a comment leave a comment down below and in the video description check out the links to the tools and products to my podcast the detailing business class podcast and anything else that i'm associated with you can find it down below all right talk to you later